Hello everyone, well, welcome back. This is question 9 of the Cambridge IGCSE Mathematics Paper 4 1 written in May June 2024. If this is the first video you are seeing, kindly go to my YouTube channel. There is a playlist titled IGCSE Mathematics Paper 4 1 May June 2024. There are 8 videos there. This is question 9 and the last question. Okay, so uh, we are giving um, functions so we have to find um, f of 3 so we'll just pass in 3 here so that would be that is anywhere we see x we we'll put 3 so that means f of 3 will be equals to 4 into 3 plus 1 this is 12 plus 1 and that is 13 okay so uh, g this is a composite function g f of 3 is the same as uh, g f of 13 because f of 3 is already 13 so we don't need to find that again so we'll now find g of 13 that means anywhere we see x in g of x will pass in 13 so it will be equals to 6 into sorry so it will be equals to sorry to be equals to 6 minus 2 into 13 that will be equals to 6 minus 26 and that is negative 20 okay so part b find g inverse of x okay so you can say let uh, g of x to be equals to y so that means y equals to 6 minus 2x so let's make x the subject of the formula so we have 2x to be equals to 6 minus y so let's divide both sides by 2. So that will be x equals to 6 minus y over 2. And finally, let's replace um, x with g inverse of x and y by x. So we have over 2. So this will be the inverse. So we can scroll up a little bit 6 minus x, everything over 2. So that is. Um, the inverse of that so for question 9c find x when f of x equals to g of 2x minus 7 so f of x is 4x okay f of x equals to 4x plus 1 i think okay yes good g of x equals to 6 minus 2x okay and g of x equals to um, 6 minus 2x 6 minus 2x okay so this is of f of x okay so we need to find um, g of 2x minus 7 okay we need to firstly find that so that would be g of 2x minus 7 because so it means anywhere we see x in g of x so we're passing 2x minus 7 that would be 6 minus 2 into 2x minus 7 so that will be equals to 6 minus 4x plus 14 this will be equals to 6 add 14 that will be 20 minus 4x so this is g of 2x minus 7 so this one is equals to f of x and f of x equals to x plus one that means this answer here okay so this is minus not equals to so you have 20 minus 4x so this is equals to f of x and f of x equals to what 4x plus one so we can solve this now so this will be 4x okay plus 4x equals to 20 minus one so this is 8x equals to 19 so this implies that x equals to 19 over 8. So we have 19 over 8. And you want to write your answer um, as a decimal number, no troubles. That will be 2.375. Uh, so you can say or 2.375. Anyone? Okay. So this is not exponential so let me write this uh, so we can say or 2.375 so you can write that 
So let's go to the next question. That will be question 9D. Find the value of h, h of 2. So we know that h of x is given as 3 to the power of x minus 2. So h of 2 will be equals to 3 to the power of 2 minus 2, which is equals to 3 to the power of 0, which is equals to 1. So this is h of 2. So h of 2 is the same as h, h of 2 is the same as h of 1 because h of 2 is 1. So and that will be equals to uh, 3 to the power of 1 minus 2. So let's write 3 to the power of 1, 3 to the power of 1 minus 2. So which is equal to 3 to the power of negative 1, and that is 1 over 3. Okay, so 9e, find x when h inverse of x equals to 10. Okay, so we need to find h inverse of x. So let um, m equals to h of x. So don't forget that this is h of x here. That is 3 to the power of um, um, x minus 2 so that means m which is h of x equals to 3 to the power of x minus 2 so we have to take log of both sides it will be log m equals to log 3 to the power of x minus 2 so i took log of both sides because i want to make x the subject of the formula so i can now bring the power here so that means i have log m to be equals to x minus 2 log um, 3 okay so I can now divide both sides by log 3 so log 3 okay this will cancel this so I'm left with um, log m over log 3 equals to x minus 2 then Finally, I can transfer 2 to this side, log 3, then plus 2 equals to x. Okay, so now let's replace x with uh, h inverse. So we have h inverse of x equals to uh, log, then let's replace m by s with x. So log x over log 3 then plus 2 so this is the h inverse of x so h inverse of x equals to 10 okay so that means 10 will be equals to this now log x over log 3 plus 2 so what we can do is to bring this one to this side okay so let's scroll down so that will be 10 minus 2 equals to log x over log 3. So that will be 8 equals to log x over log 3. So if you cross multiply, so I think I can manage this side. So it will be log x equals to 8 log 3. So I can return this h to this to be the power of 3. So that is log x will be equals to log 3 to the power of 8. So log cannot cancel log. So we have x will be equals to 3 to the power of 8. So that is what you have your answer. And if you like, you can input this into your calculator. So if you do that, x will be equals to 6, 5, six one so that will be the value of x six five six one so six five six one so this is the end of my solution to the uh, cambridge uh, igcs in mathematics paper four one written in may june 2024 in my next uh, series of videos i'll be solving paper for three as i've already made a, a solution to i've already made videos 
on paper for two until we meet have your fingers crossed bye so don't forget uh in the comment section uh please kindly tell me the most difficult questions out of these nine questions